Hi everyone and welcome to a High Valley Couponer. Today is Friday, January the 28th of 2022 and I am coming at you guys today with a Weight Watchers update video. I'm excited. This is awesome. Um, I'm also going to be showing a what I ate in a day video over here. So it's going to just be a lot of awesomeness going down on the channel. So we're going to start out with an update of where I am right now, where my weight is at, how much I lost total for January. And I'm going to be real, it's not as much as I wanted. January has been one wild month. I started out so, like, so excited about Weight Watchers. December 29th, I weighed in at my highest ever, 242.6, which is crazy. But the first five days, I dropped three pounds. I got all the way down to 239.6. Like, that's amazing. That's awesome. Then my first week, I dropped 2.2 pounds, and I weighed in on January 10th at 237.4. So I was just doing it, committed to it. Really doing well. Well then, life happens, and I fall off the bandwagon, and I have a bad day. And then, instead of just getting right back on, I don't, and I ride it out. And then, my cousin Katie and I went out to eat. Um, we vlogged it the day we went to Marietta to a sandwich shop that she really likes. Sorry, I got a text. Um, to a sandwich shop she really likes, and we got this amazing sandwich and some pasta salad and these brownies. And I drank root beer and I just let it all go. I was just like, you know what? Whatever. And then, then the weekend came and I'm like, well, we'll just ride it out. And then Monday comes and I actually did get back on track. But then that day I tested positive for COVID. And, you know, I know I shouldn't use it as an excuse, but COVID was really, really hard to stay on track with the diet. You were literally laying in bed with nothing to do. And so, yeah, I ate a lot. <laughs> um... I was door dashing stuff and my family was like having to sit meals at my door. I couldn't go up and prep a salad or I couldn't go up and prep, you know, healthy food or whatever. And so I kind of just was like, well, let's get through COVID. I'm not worried about my diet while I have COVID. And then that brings us to now. I mean, I've not had COVID for like a week now um, and I've just rode it out. And today I weighed in at 238.4 pounds. So I gained a pound back. That's sad. I wish I wouldn't have gained that pound back, but I'm actually really proud of myself that it was just a pound. That a pound is all I gained back. Um, it could have been way worse. So the fact that I didn't gain more back is a huge accomplishment. It just shows I have done somewhat better at controlling my eating. Um, and I'm proud of myself for that. But I know it's time to rein it back in. Uh, I know it's time to get back on track. But for January total, my total loss for January was actually 4.2 pounds with all the obstacles that came my way. I still managed to lose 4.2 pounds, which is amazing. So amazing. February, I'm determined to lose even more. And I'm not planning on getting it all in February. So I'm excited to keep going with this. Um, I had my, my obstacles, but you know what? We pushed through. I'm back on track. I'm not quitting. I'm back on track. I'm going to do this. And I am so excited. So today is my first official day back. And I thought it was a perfect opportunity to show you guys what I ate in a day um, on my first day back on Weight Watchers. And I'm super, super excited. So I actually get 43 points a day on my plan. It's the personal points plan. Um, you take a quiz and it matches up your best plan. Mine, I get chicken for free. Grilled chicken. I get potatoes for free. Vegetables and fruits. Those are all free as well. And so I'm really trying to focus more on eating whole foods, things like that. I do want to make it clear, you're going to see today, I do eat things like bread and carbs and things like that. But my goal is if I'm eating healthy the majority of the time that I can have, I can indulge and have a treat during the day. And that's what I love about Weight Watchers is you can eat anything, but you just, you know, they have different points values. And the foods that aren't as good for you, they're going to cost you more points. So you have to eat less of those not so good for you foods. But the whole foods, the healthier foods, you can eat more of those. Um, and so I just feel like Weight Watchers is the best system for me because it lets me really see everything um, kind of in hindsight and to be able to see what the healthier foods are for my body and what's going to help me lose weight and be the most nutritious for me. So that's kind of where I'm at. I'm super excited for today. Um, I'm just going to take you along, show you me preparing my meals, show you everything I'm eating, show you the points and just kind of see how I eat in a day on Weight Watchers. So let's just dive right in with my day. So for breakfast today, I just wanted to keep it simple. I decided to just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich lightened up, of course. So I am here mixing up some powdered peanut butter. I'm using the Simple Truth Organic brand. Um, it's like PB2, but this is actually cheaper. 
and it's organic, so why not? Um, so I'm having some of that, just kind of mixing it up. You put a tablespoon of water and two tablespoons of the powdered peanut butter and you stir it up. I did not, um, the, it actually didn't work that way for me. I had to add a little bit more water as you're going to see in a minute because it just was not fully, um, sticking together or whatever. So I just dropped some more water in and that seemed to, um, do the trick. So I just kind of stir it up, get the powdered peanut butter into a peanut butter mixture. You'll never notice the difference. You really won't. It tastes exactly the same to me. So I love, love, love that. So I just got some 35 calorie bread here. That is one point each. The peanut butter is one point for two tablespoons. And so I'm going to have that with two um, 35 calorie bread. I'm going to spread the peanut butter. So there's three points thus far. Just kind of spread it on there however you can. It's, it actually makes a ton of peanut butter there. So that worked out really, really good. Anyway, guys, then I'm going to add with it a tablespoon of Smucker's jelly. This is three points. I don't like to have sugar-free jelly with like Splenda and things like that in it. So I just go with the real thing and just have less. So it was three points for a tablespoon of the Smucker's jelly. Um, grape jelly is delicious. So I had that. So it makes the whole sandwich just six points. And then I paired with it a banana for zero points. <laughs> So for lunch, I decided to just make a big salad. Salads are so filling and this really filled me up and it's full of healthy, good for you food. So I put like two cups worth of the market side spring mix lettuce in there. Um, that actually gave me back two points because two cups of that actually gives you two points back, which is awesome. So I'm down to four points for the day. I threw in some tomatoes, which are free. I just cut up a dill pickle spear. That was no points on Weight Watchers, so I just cut that up and threw it in there. I'm just trying to work in a bunch of stuff. I think I grabbed a like fork full of the banana pepper rings. Um, those are no points as well. I washed and cut up a cucumber. I don't know. I probably put about a fourth, a third of it. I just cut some up and diced it really small. So yeah, pretty easy, but I put a ton of cucumber in there. And of course, cucumbers are no points. I love that Weight Watchers encourages you to eat healthier foods. Um... Man, maybe I had more like a half of the cucumber. I didn't realize I had that much. But um, it was really good. So that was no points on Weight Watchers. Then I also paired up with it some corn. We just had some leftover corn. That was two points for about a half a cup. That's what I counted it as. So why not just throw some corn on there? Then I got some avocado, which as you can see, I don't have good avocado cutting skills. I rarely ever eat avocado, but it's something I've been trying to incorporate into my diet more lately. They were on sale at Kroger and I figured why not? That was two points for about two ounces. And I just weighed it out on my food scale. Anything that has points, I try to weigh out on my food scale. Then I also got some grilled chicken. I just, um, Tyson grilled and ready chicken. I threw some of that on there. That's no points. I put it on some, par um, not Parmesan, mozzarella cheese. That was three points. Then I put on about two servings worth of the Texas Toast Croutons, and that was actually two points. Then I just measured out some Kraft Light Ranch, and I got two points worth and just put it on my salad, which is awesome. I also paired up with it this Great Value Cottage Cheese, the 4% milk fat one. I love, love, love that stuff so much. Um, you could get a lower fat version, but this is the only kind I really like. I'm really picky on cottage cheese, and so this one actually is really good. So I love that. Okay, and then for dinner tonight, we made a big crock pot full of vegetable soup. And the fun thing about this vegetable soup recipe is it's zero points. Every single thing in the soup is zero points on Weight Watchers, which is so exciting. It's literally just vegetables, and it's delicious, delicious, delicious. So, yeah, you could literally eat as much of the soup as you want, and it would cost you no points. So we started out by adding a carton of vegetable broth, and we added, like, two cups of carrots. We already had froze. Then we did some celery, so we just cut up a bunch of celery. Um, you could use frozen or fresh. Same with the carrots. You could have used fresh or canned. We just kind of used what we had. We had frozen carrots done, so that's what we did. Um, and then with celery, we didn't have any frozen, but we had fresh. So we just went ahead and used that up. So that's kind of what we did there. And then we put about two cups worth approximately in there. So I did that. By the way, guys, I started out in the morning by doing this. Like I didn't just like wait until the nighttime and do it. I had this simmering in the crock pot all day long. And that's what made it so, so, so flavorful. So now as you can see, I am cutting up, peeling and cutting some potatoes. I did about three potatoes. Um, I feel like it maybe could have used one more potato, but it's okay. On my Weight Watchers plan, this is free. Potatoes are free. 
So that's really cool. As you can see here, I'm just dicing them up and cutting them into small little pieces. Man, it, that was, it was so, so, so good. It made those delicious. We also added in some onions there, about a cup or so, I believe. Um, I don't think we did too, but a cup of onions, that was delicious. Um, then I also just threw in the potatoes I had diced up and cut, which kind of ended up being like one and a half. Then we added a big can of diced tomatoes. Um, I've seen some recipes use Rotel, but we just used regular diced tomatoes, a big 28 ounce can. So put those on in and then um, we added some spices. So we added a fourth a teaspoon of thyme. I got that couponing for free, which was awesome. Then I got a fourth a teaspoon of oregano, added that on in, and then I just salt and peppered it, um, and it just was amazing. So all sorts of spices there to just kind of make it really good. You could have added garlic or parsley or something like that, um, but I just kind of stirred it up, and we let it cook in the crock pot, like, all day long. And so, yeah, doesn't that look amazing? Even if we, even if we stopped there, that looks really amazing, but... Around um, an hour or so before, we added in the canned goods. So we have canned green beans. I put in a can of the green beans. Got a can of lima beans there. Again, zero points on Weight Watchers, which is awesome. And then a can of sweet peas. So I put all that stuff in the recipe um, and just mixed it in the bowl. I did put it in a colander and just to let it drain the juice out or whatever. As you can see, uh, I just mixed it all together. Who cares? Um, all that juice drained out. And then I just dumped it on in the recipe, dumped it in this crock pot, and stirred it all up, and it's amazing. So I just topped mine with two points worth of oyster crackers, and I added some Pillsbury French bread. The loaf served six people, and I just, there was five of us, so I just kind of had like one and a half servings. Or no, not one and a half, one and a fourth servings, which technically is still too much, but it's whatever. That was six points, and the butter was one point for a teaspoon. Then, since I had so many points left, since my dinner was zero, I had three of the Nestle Toll House mini cookies. I got these for free couponing, and that was nine points. So, as you can see, eating, like, sweets and things, like, compared to vegetables, it's a huge difference. Nine points for three little mini cookies. But it was worth it. It was really good. <laughs> So to wrap up the night, I had like six points left. I like to have a sweet little snack and a salty snack at night. Now, obviously, I got to keep that in check. So I go for lower point options. And the first one is actually the Sensible Portions Garden Veggie Puffs. Um, I had these in my stockpile. And so I just went ahead and pulled them out. And they're like four points for 28 grams, which is a ton of them. So that's great. Four points. And I paired up a Fiber One Brownie for two points. And that cancels us out and uses all our points for the day. So, yeah, guys, that's all I got for this Weight Watchers video. I really hope you all enjoyed and this helped you guys out. There will for sure be more where this came from. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this. And thank you so, so much for watching.